Welcome to the video review of Transformers Power Core Combiner's Skyburst with his Aerialbot drones. Now the first thing you'll notice about the Aerialbot drones is that they look, they're planes and helicopters. I mean, you've got a, um, a rescue helicopter, an attack helicopter, uh, um, an attack plane with an AWAC unit, and a, um, just a jet fighter. Okay, they all look normal. Then you have this super futuristic, super semi-sleek futuristic plane thingy. Yeah, a little out of place there. I think that's a, I, I'm going to have to say I'm going to be pretty negative during this review because quite frankly, I don't like this group of figures. The limbs are okay. These modes are all right. But having this super futuristic plane amongst all these it doesn't make any sense. There's no cohesion here. So, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get these guys, just take a look at these guys, and then we'll put them all off to the side, because that's not where, or we'll deal with them later, I should say. Now, um, one thing to note is this guy is broken. This guy came busted out of the box. There's supposed to be a little piece of plastic here that, as you can see, has already snapped off, even though it wasn't even in the box when I got the figure. Um, also, I don't know about th this piece here, I think is supposed to be, if you look at all the others, there's this little trap door. This guy doesn't have that. So what I have to do is I have to come in here and pull him kind of apart in order to merge him together. And just I just have to kind of hold him like that. Because when you do that, that's when this piece moves. Unfortunately, if it's just sitting there and you push straight down with the peg, it doesn't want to move. So that's a big problem. Uh, another big problem is because of that missing piece, he doesn't stand. This leg doesn't really work all that well as a leg, which I'll show you here in a minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at Skydive, or I'm sorry, Skyburst. I wanting to call him Skydive for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, as a plane, this guy's only okay. He's, he's boring at best, honestly. So, fold that down. Unpeg the arms from under there and fold them out. Take this whole section and just fold it down. Lock it into place. And there you go. Here's Skyburst, the most boring figure I have ever seen. Out of all the Power Core Combiner figures that I have so far, he is the most dull. His face is really generic robot face. He has articulation, but it really doesn't matter because he's so back heavy that you have to push him forward anyway just to get him to to pose. Like all power core combiners, he does have um, double elbows, but the ball joints on the arms are so, not loose, but weak, that they just pop right open. Alright, you know what, enough complaining. Let's go ahead and see if uh, we can't take a look at him in his combined mode. So what we'll do is return this like this. Get the arms out of the way. Kind of the legs at an angle, and then flip out the pegs. We take this whole section and fold it up like this. Take the arms. Fold them like this. Let me take this, fold it down, open the back. Uh, one thing you need to be aware of, this piece will pop off very, very quickly. So then we'll fold these down, fold the head up, 
pull these down and out of the way so we can rotate these around. Laugh at the kitten as she completely misses a jump. Yeah, these wings, um, all these bits just fall off way too easily. I guess, see, I'm just going to put them off to the side for right now. Because what you're supposed to do is kind of collapse this top part down onto the bottom. And then when you do that, you bring the arms up, you snap them into place. I just realized I mess, messed up. Okay, here we go. Here is Torso Plain Boy. Meh. Face is, um... Okay, I guess. I, I feel very... It's very hard for me to get excited about this guy. Also, um, this thing just keeps falling down. There's... There's a peg here that it looks like it should peg into, but it actually doesn't. So, yeah. And you would think you could maybe... Well, I guess you could kind of tuck it behind those wings, but it doesn't... Nope, not, not going. Alright, so let's go ahead and get it uh, combined. Helicopter! Combine! Jet thingy! Come... Now see, this is what I was talking about. When you try to get the peg in, because of the way this door is sitting, it doesn't necessarily want to go. Um, wow, it's actually working this time. Helicopter. All right, there we go. Yeah, this isn't working for me. It's a decent theory, but it just looks like, especially for this figure, it just looks like he played around with the top and then he's standing on two flying vehicles. I can't say that this is fun or even interesting. It just looks like a mess. His posability is okay, I guess. I mean... He's still got plenty of posing, but how are you going to... I guess that's something. But still, it looks dumb. Now, I do have a couple of other power core combiners, and I can, I can definitely tell you, this guy is the worst. This one is the worst core unit that I have out of the first wave. He's not interesting. He's dull to transform. He's annoying. His parts fall off, and he's just generally a bad figure. But, if it's something that you like, go ahead and pick him up. I, I recommend getting at least one of the sets. Just one, so that you can at least play with the others. But, for me, I can't really recommend this one. 